In this video, I want to address that cross member that went across from the firewall to the radiator shell and the rattly hood. I've got some ideas that I want to try out. So when it comes to doing a project like this with a gas strut, there's a lot of options out there. Uh, but there's not any that I found that are specifically tailored to the Jeepster, uh, the Willys trucks and the wagons. Uh, I did see a video of somebody that did one. Yeah, I didn't quite exactly like the way they did it because then it ends up being in the way where it was something more like this. And you have to have a fairly short rod to be able to get it to come down, collapse in, and not be in the way. As well as when it's up, I don't want it in the way. I want to be able to, to work on the engine. Um, you can also put it way out here and then it'll tip down, but again, it's in the way. Uh, so for this project, my hopes is to mount it here and to the hood. It's completely out of the way. It'll look really good at a car show. And when it's down, it actually cams over and puts pressure downward on the hood to actually hold it down. If you don't have that geometry quite right, as soon as you release, pop up it goes. Now it's kind of cool in a way. Go to a car show, you push the button, and ah, uh, it just pops open. But for a little added safety sake, I want it to cam over and actually hold the hood down. When you release it, you're going to have to give it a little bit of a push, but then it's going to come up on its own. And as long as this isn't too powerful, I don't have to worry about this bending the hood out because that's possible too. There's so much pressure on there and this hood is just 18 gauge metal maybe, just bent over. There's no reinforcing along here at all. There's a little reinforcing here and at the end, but the span in between uh, with, with just a bend, there's a pretty good chance it might bend out. Maybe it wouldn't. So I'm going to start by just drilling a couple of holes. So I'm going to start by just drilling a couple of holes here where I can mount the bracket. And I'm going to drill a couple of holes here where I can mount the opposite end and test it, play with it. If I'm a little bit off, if I need to let the hood down a little bit, I can bring it up. And it's just a matter of me welding over these holes. I've got a welder, I can do that. But I can kind of walk you through that so that you know that my mistakes that I end up making, you won't make the same mistakes if you want to do a project like this. And this hood sits almost flat on this finger. I don't want it to be rattling and chipping the paint, scratching the paint when it's all the way shut. At the same time, when I screw on a bracket here. If I put screws up through here, those screws will fit this paint. So I don't want that. So then there's other options. Uh, I can indent this in, bevel it, and put on a type of a screw that has angles to it, a machine screw with a flat head, and bevel this bracket the same way. So those screws would be nice and dimpled in. That's one, one way to do it. Uh, can always grind them off and put a nylon lock washer on the back side of it and, and grind these somewhat smooth. Uh, it's not going to be the best situation for if you ever want to take them off. Or you can do like I'm going to do. I'm going to just weld this bracket in here because I want to weld in reinforcement on the back side of this at the same time. So I'm going to use some, some heavier stock, just some flat bar. Um, I will weld it to the inside of this angle and I will weld my bracket to the inside of that. So then it will give me that extra strength and extra support to just give this some longevity. For now, just drill some holes in here and let's test this thing out and see if I've got all the geometry correct. Uh, for it to come all the way down, it has to come in about in this area. So I marked it about here. 
figuring, okay, that should be about right. And then up here, all the way out, it should be about there. Marked it to the outside of the hood, closed it, lined it up with here, and all my numbers are right. <laughs> Drill some holes, try it out. <clears throat> now these struts have a little keeper that snaps over those ends. Plenty strong enough for just one to hold up this was. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go with a lighter one, but let's try it out. Maybe it's not too strong after all. By the time I get both of them on there, it should push it up. I have this mounted. These are sticking out beyond what my original plan was, but uh, shouldn't interfere with anything. So let's see. It is pushing the hood over, but that's to be expected since I only have one on one side. <laughs> really pushing hard going out. Uh, it's increasing this gap. It's kind of pushing it out a little bit too. This gas strut is just too strong. Uh, the obvious part is that one can hold the hood up. I want to have two on. I want to be able to keep the hood stable. So yeah, if I put another one on that side, it's really going to push out. So yeah, I'm going to have to get a lighter duty shock. So I'll get that ordered. I'm pretty sure these were right around 90 pounds a piece. Uh, this hood's probably 45, so I'll drop way down. Just gonna be trial and error. I like the way it's positioned. I, I like the way it pivots. I like the way it works. So if if one can do it, and I cut down about half as much pressure and put two on, I should be good. I've got my redneck hood support in, so I can safely hold this up while I play around with these struts. I removed the struts that I had that were too strong. These were 80 pounders. And I purchased a set of 30s on a set of 40s. So I have to do a little trial and error. I'm hoping the 30s will work because that'll take a little less uh, stress uh, off of the hinges. But they're pretty simple. They just snap in now that I've got the brackets in. Well, I've got both sides on with 30s, and it is holding it up, but not by much. So it's not very safe. If you were in a shop and it started to come down on you, you could get out of the way. But if, if you're out in the weather and you're checking the oil or something, a little breeze, yeah, it could slam it down on you. So that's the 30s. So now let's go to the 40s and I'll cross my fingers. 40s will take care of it. Pretty easy to get off. Just a matter of putting a screwdriver in the edge. Just pry out on the little clip and they pop off. I need my redneck hood support.
it's actually holding the gap really good. It's pushed it out just a hair, but that should be something I can just adjust back into the hinges. That's perfect. You can see up close now, uh, I've got my brackets bolted to the firewall. Um, you can raise that or lower it if you wanted to play around with it a little bit. Uh, I've thought about actually raising that bracket up a little bit so it puts a little more down force right here when it's closed, but it seems to be set up really good, so I don't think I want to play with it. I, I do want to mount that better. Uh, with those screw heads underneath that lip, it does hit the fender, so that would scratch the paint. So I'll need to either weld on a stud or I did mention that I want to reinforce this edge of the hood with some bar stock or some angle iron. And I had to put some spacers in there to get it to clear. When it's closed, it wants to hit right here. But putting a little bit of a spacer, it brings that bracket just up above the edge. So this is awesome. So what I have is a 20 inch strut. So that goes to uh, 20 inches long. And when it's collapsed, you're roughly 13 inches when it's all the way closed. So that's where you have to make sure that when it's all the way down, you've got 13 inches clear. And then while it's all the way up, you have the correct angle that you want. This works great. Well, I'm really excited. And these struts are 40 pounds each. Uh, the 30 pounders that I tried didn't work. The 80s were way too strong. <laughs> these are just right. I can't ask for anything better than that. A project like this, maybe spend an hour, two hours goofing around with it, trying different uh, struts, and it's 30 bucks. So, what a great way to get rid of that bar that's in the middle and the rattle and have a, a modern look. So it's perfect. <clears throat> All right, well, that's it for another Jeepster video. Give me a like if you like what I'm doing. Subscribe if you haven't already. Got a couple more projects coming up. Got a gas cap, and I've got a little more uh, heat shrinking I've got to do on the cow. It's, it's <clears throat> as I've been adjusting this fender, it uh, it's kind of distorted that little panel again, the way it mounted. So I've got to do a little bit more work there. And then I just got to start spreading filler. Come along. I do have to pull all this back off and weld that fender that I never completely finished up. So once I get that welded, and then it's spreading my... All right. Thanks again. Goodbye for now.